And in South Africa, the country is heading to general elections in less than eight weeks. The polls are being touted as a historic turning point in the country's politics. In fact, for the first time since coming to power at the end of apartheid in 1994, the African National Congress, the party associated with Nelson Mandela, could lose a majority. On top of its list of woes is longstanding corruption. No surprise there. And the latest scandal involves its veteran leader and parliament speaker. The speaker's been accused of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes. Now included in those bribes is also a wig. Yes, you heard that right, a wig. Our next report explains. This glorious human achievement that Dr. Nelson Mandela spoke about. South Africa is less than two months away from its next general election. But the future of the ruling African National Congress is on thin ice. For the first time since Nelson Mandela became the first post-apartheid president 30 years ago, the African National Congress, or the ANC, may lose power. Since 1994, the ANC has enjoyed nearly unshakable hegemony. It came to power with moral legitimacy, a readiness to govern, and a promise to bring in change. But today, it's blamed for poverty, high unemployment, pollution and a list of other problems in South Africa. And on top of that list is long-standing corruption. The latest corruption scandal to hit the ruling ANC centers around the veteran leader and parliament speaker Nosivive Mapisa Kakula. That's not all. The bribe also included a wig. Yes, a wig. South African prosecutors say Mapisa Kakula received 11 payments as bribes. This was over a three-year period when she was defense minister between December 2016 and July 2019. They claim she sought another bribe of $105,000, but that wasn't paid. Mapisa Kakula was previously accused of taking bribes too, but a parliamentary investigation was dropped in 2021. She allegedly accepted $121,000 in bribes from a former military contractor. This was when she served as Defence Minister between 2014 and 2021 before being appointed Speaker. The prosecutors say the case re-emerged after a whistleblower came forward last year. They say they gave her an opportunity to hand herself in at a police station and be taken to a court to be formally charged. The prosecutors even said they would not oppose her bail. But Mapisa Kakula denies any wrongdoing. The ANC leader has not been arrested or charged yet. Earlier this month, authorities also raided her home in Johannesburg and seized evidence. Amid the probe, she's taken a leave of absence for her role as speaker. Yes. The corruption case has added to the woes of the ruling African National Congress. Polls suggest that the party that once commanded 70% of the vote and was almost untouchable is expected to see its share of the vote drop below 50% for the first time. If that happens, they would need to form a coalition, something that the ANC has been wary of. If you know what South Africa has gone through, coalitions will not work unless those coalitions are regularized. We have seen how nations that are administered through coalition governments also battle in terms of policy contradictions. And therefore, out of those lessons, our, our immediate bet is to win elections. South Africa's second most popular party, the Democratic Alliance, says it could consider a deal with the ANC. Well, as I said, it would depend which, which ANC you're dealing with and, and what their programme of action is uh, and the like. But as I said, after the election, we'll have to sit down as the multi-party charter, look at the hand of cards that's been dealt by the, by the voters and try and make the best possible play out of those. But as I say, my, my, my sole target and focus is on getting the, the multi-party charter over the line, 50% plus one. 
ANC's reputation was tarnished by a stream of corruption allegations under President Jacob Zuma from 2009 to 2018, when South Africa is estimated to have lost billions of dollars. The current president, Cyril Ramaphosa, does not have a clean record either. He's also accused of graft and violation of the constitution. The country of 62 million people has been facing mounting and deepening socio-economic problems. The overriding sentiment is that the ANC has failed to improve the lives of the poor. In fact, some believe they've only made it worse with graft and mismanagement. Will politics in South Africa see a momentous shift in 2024? And will the African National Congress be shown the door?